What's going on guys? This is Frank from Modern Pistoleros. We're here with Gus. Gus is actually uh, one of the friends from the shop. Uh, he actually came to us because he had a bad experience with a prior uh, stippler and he found out about us, was recommended to us and um, we're already by gun number what? Four? Four. <laughs> gun number four and he's been here, he's been part of the family like four months and we're already by number four. So anyways, uh, a little bit about yourself, bro. What's your background? Uh, well, I'm uh, from, I was born and raised in Venezuela. I came here when I was 15. Uh, been on the firearm industry since I was five. Uh, you know, my dad was always uh, there teaching me how to shoot and stuff like that. Uh, then I took it upon myself uh, when I got older to just, you know, continue doing that. Uh, but, you know, just staying doing it. Uh, what do you do for a living right now? Uh, as funny as it sounds, I'm an accountant. So, so there you so go. <laughs> I got the nickname The Accountant by uh, some people. It's kind of funny, but yeah. Hey, the, the guy can shoot, so <laughs> you know, at least at least we have that. Uh, he has that going for him. So basically, um, one of the guns that we did for him is a 19X. Um, I'll let you show it off. Show it off to the camera. So this 19X had prior work. We just did, uh, uh, we re-stippled it because the, the texturing uh, that had been applied was uh, kind of superficial. Uh, we went ahead and fixed the undercuts as well as the accelerator cuts. And yes. um, we stippled him for, uh, with a different texture. And then we went ahead and did this one from the ground up, um, not from the ground up, but just Cerakote and stippling on this one. This is a Glock 45, and uh, as you can see, we did an Arid Camel on the flashlight, which I'm sure it's a Surefire, correct? Yeah. Uh, PPM Comp, uh, slide has four iterations, Trigicon RMR. We did the uh, Go Crazy package on this one to display a little bit more of the Cerakote, and uh, we did our Velcro texture, uh, which is actually one of the, one of the best ones uh, that we offer when it comes to um, you know a hot and humid environment, um, so it gives you a nice uh, grip without being too uncomfortable. So, bro, what do you think of the quality of the work so far? Uh, well, I've, taste, uh, I've tested about uh, three different kinds of uh, stippling work. I have a different kind of uh, stippling uh, work done on the 43X. Felt great for being such a small gun uh, on the 45. Uh, I have it uh, on a different gun as well, the Velcro, and honestly, it felt extremely grippy. It felt the gun was not gonna move out of my hands. Uh, and then on the 19X, we have this pattern, and it's uh, pretty good for concealment. Uh, it's not uh, very abrasive, uh, it's, but it's still grippy. So, I mean, I can't complain about anything. It's so far so good. They all work great. Um, can. Uh, can I stress enough how much uh, I would recommend any of these uh, designs. So, there you go guys, uh, you heard it from the man himself. Now we can go ahead and, uh, you know, unchain him. Uh, we can go and unchain him and, and, and uh, he can exit the, uh, the facility. We're here at the uh, our custom shop. So, <clears throat> coming in the future guys, we're gonna have our own milling done in house, okay? That's the only thing that was missing out of this shop. Uh, you know, right now we're doing gun sales, we're doing um, stippling Cerakote in house, and the only thing that was missing uh, was the milling. We should have a milling machine within the next two months, uh, and we're gonna be able to do our own milling in house. Uh, for some things, we still, you know, for, for certain designs and stuff like that, we're still going to outsource. But the majority of the uh, RMR cuts and simple, you know, milling uh, stuff is going to be done in-house until we do our own designs, uh, something that we are comfortable with. Um, and uh, we'll take it from there. So, guys, thank you for watching. Again, Gus, thank you for doing this. Um, no problem, man. And, uh, Appreciate everything. You know, he, he was kind of uh, thrown in, into the wolves. He didn't know he was going to be on YouTube <laughs> today. So we just Definitely. did this out of the blue. So, guys, thank you for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.